again, here we are to continue talking about Xcode and the To-Do app. And, uh, you know, in the last video, we set up our table view. And, uh, you know, we got some to-do items to show up in the, in the cells in the table view here. So what I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to add new to-do items, okay? And that's going to work by, you know, we'll, we'll create another view controller and uh, maybe put a button here. And tapping the button will open the view controller. And the view controller will allow us to name a new table view item and, and create that item, right? So, uh, so how do we do that? Well, back in Storyboard... Uh, I'm going to open up the sidebar here. What we're going to do is we're going to get a bar button item. Okay, so it's got to be the bar button item, not the regular button, right? So it's this guy, UI bar button item, okay? And I'm going to drag this guy into the, the bar up here and drop him in that little square. And then this is the, the item, and you can just double click to change the text of it if you want. Um, to anything. If you want to use one of the default um, system items, you can choose it off the menu here. So if you select it and you choose, you know, I'm going to choose add, and then it'll give me the plus button there. Okay, so, uh, so now we've got a button. Next, we'll make a new view controller. So I'll scroll to the top of the object palette, um, grab the view controller, and um, let me resize this to a reasonable size, right? And I'll put it over here. And then what I want to do is I want to create a link from this button to the view controller here. So I'll, I'll control click and drag from the button to, um, to this view. And then it will say action segue. And I can do one of these segues. I'm going to choose present modally, okay? So we'll do a modal view. And now let's set this view up. So essentially when you create a to-do item, you know, we'll just put a text field in here. Um, and you're going to type in the name of your to-do in this um, text field. Okay. And, you know, you can set the font and the style and the background color and everything, right? We'll just leave that out for now. And maybe I need to add a couple constraints to this thing. So I'll go to the pin menu and I'll pin the left, top, and right, okay? And then I'll update frames on this thing to kind of, you know, fudge it and make it, make it happy with the constraints and stuff, right? And then maybe we'll have a button. Maybe I'll make two buttons. I'll make a button here, and I'll put another button over here, okay? And this will be a, um, a save button and this will be a cancel button. Okay. You can work out your UI and UX issues um, later. I'm just getting this working here, right? Making sure it works. Um, for now, right? We can we can set the styles and, you know, debate user interaction a little bit later. Um, but, you know, this, this will function for us, right? You're going to type the name in there, and you're going to click save, or you're going to click cancel. Okay? So... This new view needs a view controller or a, you know, a view controller file, like a Swift file, to run the code here. So what we'll do is we'll make a brand new Swift file. We're, I, this time we're going to choose source Cocoa Touch class, right? So this will be a Swift file, but it'll have a, a little bit of extra code in it for us, right? So we don't have to type it. And then we'll click Next. And I'm going to call this one Add To Do View Controller. Okay, and then we'll set the subclass here to UI view controller. So click next, save the file into your Xcode project, and there it is, right? So, you know, just choosing Cocoa Touch class gave us this code right here, and it kind of added the comments and filled this stuff in, right? So that's all that did. Okay, so this is the add to do view controller, okay? So uh, what do we need to do with this? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to go back to Storyboard, and we need to set the Add to Do View Controller as the view controller for this view. So I'll click on the view here and go to the um, Identity Inspector and type in Add to Do View Controller up at the top, okay? 
and it should code complete that. You don't want to be typing the whole name. Um, if it's not giving you the name, then something's wrong. Um, you know, just check your check what's going on and make sure that everything is spelled right in the view controller, right? Um, but it, it should code complete that for you, right? Or, or you know, kind of help you out. So, so anyway, so we've got that. And now we probably need, um, you know, an IB outlet for the text field and an IB action for each of these buttons. So let's open up the um, assistant editor. So I'll option click on add to do view controller, this one, right? And uh, maybe I'll close the that thing. And first of all, let's make an IB outlet. So I'll control drag from the text field over to here and choose name text as the name, right? So that'll be our IB outlet, right? And then now let's make some IB actions. So I'll say, you know, mark colon IB actions, right? And then um, now we'll add a save and a cancel button action. So let's, uh, let's control drag from the save button set the connection type to action and then give it a name. I'll call it save button tapped. And then let's do the same for the cancel button. So control drag from the cancel button. Set the type to action. Type in cancel button tapped. Okay, so we'll save all that. And, uh, you know, I realized I forgot to do some constraints. So let's constrain the two buttons. So I think we can get away with some simple ones. I'll go to the pin menu and pin the left and the top. And then I'll go over here and I'll pin the top and the right. And I think that's enough for these because the buttons have an intrinsic height and width. So we actually don't have to set the height and width for them unless you make them larger than the text. So if the button is the size of the text and you haven't changed the size, then, you know, its height and width are determined by the, the size of the text, right? And the computer knows how big that is. So, so anyway, so there we go. That's all set, right? Um, so I'm going to stop this video here now that we've got everything set up. But let me give you a small challenge. So, you know, these two buttons right here, they need to, um, they need to dismiss this view controller or this view because it was presented modally. Let's see if you can remember how to do that because that happened in a previous video. So try and dismiss the view controller here. So if you tap the save button or tap the cancel button, it should dismiss this view. Okay, so give that a try on your own. We'll add it in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching and I uh, hope that was, was interesting.